Sherman is asleep in bed, and who do we have here at midnight coming by? And hello, and welcome back to the Sherman Show Challenge. This is a test actress to put some spice in the Truman Show. She's going to audition for Mitchell's girlfriend. Um, Saying I could be your girlfriend, Mitchell. Uh, he's not interested. He is truly s upset that his TV grandmother passed away. Alvaro has come over to visit, and he brought his cousin, younger cousin, Harmony. Oh, so it looks like they're having breakfast. <laughs> Mitchell is really interested in Alvaro's cousin. Oh. Well. Truman thinks it's awesome. It's radical. So cool. Is that what the kids are saying? He says to Mitchell. He's like, uh, yeah, Grandpa. He's like, I totally think that Harmony is rad. So this is Truman's day, having some friends over, taking care of his grandkids or watching them grow up now that they're teenagers. What's going on over here? Mitchell is a uh, dating Alvaro's younger cousin. Look at this Atari she's playing. In the crimped hair. See how Truman's feeling. Very playful and happy. He's doing pretty good even after the death of his wife. Truman has had a long, long life. His grandkids are now grown up and have work or jobs to get to. And this is his grandson, Mitchell, all grown up. And his wife, Harmony, who's expecting his first great-grandchild. They did some remodeling because they're all going to live together. Yes, two bathrooms for seven people. Everyone else is off to work. Bill is asleep, and so is Chelsea. Actually, Chelsea's at to work. Joel is asleep. So the gr Truman's room is still this bed here. His granddaughter's room is right here. They share a room. That's for Tess and Chelsea. And this is grandson Mitchell, who's in the military. But this is what his days are looking at like. Spending it with all his family, his grandchildren, his daughter, son-in-law. And Harmony is expecting the first grand, great grandchild. But he is coming to the end of his life, so we'll see if he...
What are you doing there, Truman? He's carrying an imaginary book. All right, this is Harmony. Like she has gone into labor, but she's going to have a snack first. Is that Truman? Again, this is the Truman Show, so we're looking at Truman. He is excited to be a great-grandfather. All right, Harmony, get to the hospital. Truman's going to meet his great-granddaughter, Cherish. So Truman got to live long enough to see his great-granddaughter. So Truman is beyond happy. He has his big loving family, his three grandchildren, his great grandchild. He's finally settled down. He finally figured out the purpose of life. It's just to enjoy his family. So many people in this house with only two bathrooms. Truman has lived 110 days as an elder. Look at them, they all finally decided to sit down. You know how hard it is to get them all to sit down instead of trying to eat in different rooms. Okay, he's got his own comfy chair. Keeping an eye on Truman because he is coming to the end. He has lived 111 days as an elder. Where is Truman going at 9 o'clock at night? Oh, he's throwing. Oh. Throwing the dirty diapers outside the window. Well, there's a perfectly good trash can right there. Everyone's tired, everyone's going to bed. Just Truman and his granddaughter Tess. Just hanging out and talking late at night. Canada Narble, Neil Shaba. 
Zase Smoochy Peachy? Yep. Send yep. it. All right, Truman's going back to bed. He is exhausted. It's been a long, long harvest fest. But look what we have over here. Cherish just aged up. Look at her. Sucking her thumb. Everyone's checking in on Truman. Just making sure he's doing okay because they know this is his final moments. <laughs> Truman has been sleeping a long time. I think he went to bed at 8 o'clock. And it's now 9 a.m. almost. So let's see if this is going to be his final. Great, Truman. Truman is sad. Oh, because he had an awful holiday. Well, because you slept through the whole holiday, Truman. I don't know what you want to expect. Um, he's like, I have to use the restroom. You need to leave. No one was telling you to skip work tests. He's going back to bed. <laughs> he is so upset he slept through the holiday. He knows what's going to cheer him up. He's going to go talk to one of his grandchildren. A lot of Truman's old friends have come over to visit. It's been a long time since he's seen them. Of course, his best friend is Alvaro. He's just aggravated and annoyed, so he's just mad. Uh. 
Better go make up with your friend. He will calm down. Okay, good. Someone needs to do something with this baby. Alright, it says the circle of life plays him from birth to natural death. This is the end of Truman. Truman Burbank has lived a long life, but his time has finally come. Truman is dying of old age, and he still has that book in his hand. Well, that is the end of the Truman Show. This was a success. His fake family is still so upset that they spent so many years with him. And here's death. He ended up with 101,000 simoles. His last memory was he was terrified because he was wondering why the Grim Reaper was coming closer. Well, that's it. That is the end of the Truman Show Challenge. Thank you so much for watching this long, long process. Uh, death is going to watch TV. All right. Again, thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. In May, we are going to do some scary stories. And then maybe another challenge. Have a great night.